What's up guys and welcome back to another Lifting Love Reacts video. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button because we're on a journey to a million views. Working on a whole bunch of other videos besides reactions. We do food reviews, interviews, we'll have some have a nerf battle that we did, working on some more nerf battles. Have a whole bunch of stuff in store for you. So make sure you subscribe. Don't miss it. Um you know, I'm not gonna lie, sports is usually a little outside of what we react to, but this popped up on my uh my YouTube uh page and I was like, you know what? Greatest game ever. Let's watch it. So this is I believe the Kansas City Chiefs against the Rams. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Rams. So let's see what it is. Don't even know what it is. Let's go. The biggest game of the NFL season went down tonight. Can you believe this? The NFL world got a treat tonight. Probably the greatest Monday night football <laughs> game ever. I feel like, you know, I might need a couple beverages to relax tonight. They the <laughs> Before we break down the game at all, to think about the buildup. Wow! We talked about these two young quarterbacks and these two great coaches. Absolutely. Now, granted, this is an old game, so I'm just reacting to it. I didn't know that it was the old, an old game. My bad. <laughs> outrageous. It lived up to the hype and exceeded it. Damn, this thing is so old that Jared Goff is still, I mean, it uh, isn't still, uh, was on um, the, the Rams. I didn't even know that was Jared Goff. Dang, this was eight years ago. Wait, six years ago. <laughs> My math is awful. The game of the week <clears throat> in the NFL will not be played at Azteca Stadium <clears throat> in Mexico. Field conditions are not up to the league's standard for playability. So they are moving the game to Los Angeles. One of the most anticipated showdown games in recent NFL history. Tonight is the night. This game, I tell you, it's going to feel like a playoff game. We got 9-1 and one against 9-1. and one. When you get opportunity in this game, you make a play. Yeah. Yeah. about it. You make a play. Yeah. Now, I know for sure. I know for sure those huddles are hype as hell. They like bring all the energy. It makes you want to just run through a wall. No team and no town is immune to adversity. In November, Los Angeles was reeling from the shooting in Thousand Oaks and the wildfires raging across the state. Of course, it has been just a tumultuous time. They have gone through a lot here in California. But the city and their team rallied together in one of the most anticipated games on the NFL schedule. In front of the first responders, in front of loved ones of the victims, we have lost tonight more than ever. Los Angeles, these are your Rams. As Butler kicks away to Farrell Cooper, who lets it go to the back of the end zone. In this hurry up offense, a lot of pressure's on them. They handle it well. Hurry up indeed, and a quick strike to Cooks. And Brandon Cooks with a chunk play down inside the 30 yard line. Back then and now, I think Jared Goff is such a good quarterback, in my opinion. Goff, plenty of time, walks into the end zone, and touchdown, Robert Woods! The play action that they do, it looks like that first run that they did. And then Woods is going to go across, and Orlando Skandrick is just a crossing route. He has to cover it the entire way. Hey, that's great job! Hey, stand up, baby! That's what you know, you mentioned the juice. You mentioned guys being amped up. We don't often say that early on in an NFL game, but there is a certain atmosphere here tonight. Third name. Mahomes. There's that arm strength and all oh the hands gosh. of Travis Kelsey. Now look, I don't I don't I don't care if you're a former player. I don't care if you're not even a player at all and you're just someone who loves the game. Playing quarterback is the hardest position to play. Like it like it's unbelievable. I think I think it's so crazy. I would have lo if I wasn't so dang big in high school. Um, I would have one hundred percent loved to play quarterback, but that's a whole other story for another day. Um, it's such a hard position. I mean, like literally, like hands. Like you know, you throw the ball and like there are hands, like inches inches matter with how you throw. You throw a, a couple inches or a couple feet too high, too far. They can't get it. You throw a couple inches too short, you get in. They can get intercepted. Um, reading coverages, zones, man to man. I mean, there's just so many like different coverages and like the the routes. I overheard them around. It's like they're speaking a whole another language. 
It's like I, I think I think playing a quarterback is so mm-hmm. hard, but it also would probably be the most fun position to play because like you kind of like get to control the game a little bit, right? It's kind of like being a pitcher in baseball. You know what I mean? Um, so you kind of get to control that a little bit. I, th- I think playing quarterback would probably be the most fun position to play. As he was covered by Marcus Peters. They cannot cover you guys, all right? That's evident by all the holding that's going on, all right? A drowning man, a reach for a straw. A drowning man, a reach for a straw. Play action again. Ball. Giants in the time. Wide open and able to secure it is Woods. From six. And Cooks is going to make that. And to just to argue, man, I think the second hardest position to play in football is lineman. Um, they never get enough credit. They are underpaid, and they also play every single um, every single uh, down. So I think line again goes quarterback, and then I think it goes lineman, even though they don't get the respect or the pay that they deserve. Because um, like if you watch this play real quick, like this is just me being a big sports guy. I mean, just watch. Watch the amount of time. Giants in the time. Wide thing. open and able to secure it is Woods. From oh, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five, like, almost five Mississippi in the pocket for any quarterback is like an eternity. I remember, you know, one of the best ever, Aaron Rodgers. I used to watch his games and like they would even, they would make like jokes out of it, like how much time he had in the pocket. Like he would get seven to ten seconds easily almost every single play when you have that much time i mean you could make a the wor- league's worst quarterback look like tom brady you know what i mean so i don't think linemen don't get enough credit anyway back to the video Cooks is going to make that extra effort for the first down second goal one of the end zone reynolds scores it it's caught what? jared goff oh, second oh, scoring oh throw God. hey man it's just started, man. Just started. Here's Three hunts. Hunt. Here we go. Take it. Here we go. Such an underrated running back. I love Kareem Hunt, man. This, this, this is like throwback for me. I love this. I don't even, I don't even remember this game. And now off of it. Downfield goes Mahomes. And here come the Chiefs. Oh, Tyree Hill, baby. He's got it for the touchdown. Oh, there it is. Does he ever? Mahomes to Hill. What a response. Just what the Chiefs needed. How much do these dudes remind you? Miles an hour. Miles an hour. There has to be a very limited amount of people who can run 20 miles an hour on this earth. That's crazy. Of us. Bro, exactly. If you look on second and eight. And he just muscles it complete again. I mean, they just dictate to the defense at all times. It's on third turns. And now some pressure on golf, and he still gets it complete. And it's Reynolds. I mean, the Rams have gone up and down the field, three possessions, but that's a big stop. That's a huge play for them, for the Chiefs, to force them not to have to settle for a field goal. Mahomes with time, and he connects with Hill again. Man-to-man coverage in third and short. Sam shields the matchup again. And Tyreek winning at the line of scrimmage and across the field. <laughs> and it just shows you the confidence Mahomes has in him, Joe. Rip left. There's the arm talent, and there's Hill. Second and goal. They run option. Mahomes keeps it and slides down. Your franchise quarterback, and then John Johnson was coming in like a missile. So for the quarterback when they keep it. Pitches to Hunt. Can he get there? Run out of bounds that time by John Johnson. We've seen that option a few times now for Kansas City. You, you go back in a game like this, you, you know, heck, I wish I would have called different, some different plays. I mean, I, we can all do better on both sides of the ball. Just a 21-yard attempt here from Butker. Went out and took a chance on a young guy. Sacked by Xavier Williams. Third and 13, and the Chiefs defense get off the field. Good push right up the middle as Golf is taken down again. Ball came out at the end there, and that's a fumble recovery for Kansas City. That started with the push inside, guys. We've been waiting on them to get pressure on this quarterback. They did it, forced Jared Goff to get off his spot, then the ability to create the turnover and knock it out. And what a golden opportunity now 
screen. Triple play action sets up the screen for Hunt. Walker's in front, and Kareem Hunt will go right in. Well, offensively, we gave up one of those touchdowns, you know, and we had a turnovers in a short field. They've got all pro players that are continuing to produce at a high level. They do a great job up front, and they got a great scheme. Hey, smell the palm trees, man. Hey, that's all we got to do. Play your ass Hell yeah. Keep that stuff. So we got to do a good job trying to just focus on what we can control and continue to come away and press with them, then come back ready to go. They only bring four. And it is incomplete. They have roared back, and Mahomes has been awesome in this second quarter. He's resilient, man, and he has confidence in himself and his teammates. Thus, he gives it to everybody around him. He makes everybody around him better. Next to Mahomes, quickly to Hill, and easily shakes free for just a little more. For Patrick Mahomes, that's exactly what you're looking for. He has hit on his last five. He's 12 of 14 overall, now facing a second and eight. Taken down, ball is loose, picked up. Turns it for the score. And what do we say? The great ones don't just get the sack. They get the football out. And a game-changing play by Aaron Donald. And we say he's the best defensive player in the National Football League. And I'll say it again. He is the I can't even believe he retired. That's crazy. That's how long ago this was. Um, this is one hell of a game. I mean, this, is, this, is, this seems like a video game right now, honestly. Best defensive player, maybe the best player in the National Football League, number 99. Aaron That's tough when you're ready to throw the football, and it was an all-pro doing it. One of the best in the business, if not the best in the business, doing it. And so things are going to happen in a the game. There are going to be highs and lows, and, and uh, the great ones battle through those, man. And you put your head down, and you, you learn from any mistakes that took place, and then you come back firing and try to rip their heart out with the next series. Entertaining first half remains as he goes under to Kelsey. Tight end screen. Second and five. He goes to Kelsey underneath again for a first down. Big in business as Mahomes wants to use that last time out. Back and forth they go. They better get after him. Mahomes is going to tuck and run. And he goes the MVP candidate. Mahomes looking to answer and retake the lead. Mahomes. He does it. Chris Conley. Absolutely outrageous. First half. What a throw. Not only do you get out of the pocket and out of traffic before you get sacked, he, I mean, he literally, let's watch that again. I mean, just, shoot, just a reaction video. Let's, I'm reacting. <laughs> Mahomes, they go. They better he got, get look at this. Pocket closes, finds a gap. Mahomes is going to talk uh, this, and run. Oh, the and he goes like, the man. MVP candidate, Mahomes, looking to is. answer and retake the lead. Look at this. Pockets closing in on him. He has a gap right here coming through, goes through it, finds it, Mahomes. just as he could. I mean, he's only three yards away from that. He just throws on his front foot. He late. does it! Chris Conley, Conley. Oh, absolutely outrageous first half of football. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is how we're going to have this thing tied. Each kicker has now missed an extra point. 23 to you couldn't pay me enough to be a kicker uh, that pressure like someone yesterday just hit a 61 i think it was tyler bass uh from the buffalo bills 61 yard field goal that's too much pressure bro that's a that's a long distance to boot 23 missed extra points for each team we are on pace for 92 points and over 900 yards the chiefs are going to get the ball to start the second half we couldn't be having more fun you know in the first half we talk about the offenses, but I was looking forward to seeing a guy inside like Aaron Donald. His ability to come off the ball, his quickness, his ability to freeze an offensive lineman and get to an edge. Nice first half by Aaron Donald. Why do I have a feeling in moments you're going to say he faints to the outside and goes inside? <laughs> so there you take a shot if you're Kansas City. Mahomes, here he comes, and he gets a strip sack again. Ball is loose, still loose, and it's scooped up that time by John. Uh. Game changer, isn't he, Bug? Ah, the That's tough. With time to find the open guy. He's one of the best. First ballot Hall of Fame is Aaron Donald. He's going to run it straight in. 
Jared Goff. What a game here in L.A. Monday night, 14 points That's off tough. of two Chiefs turnovers, the strip sacks from Aaron Donald. You can't make mistakes against great teams. When you play these games, I mean, these are the games that you're going to play, hopefully, in the playoffs. And so you want to make sure that you limit your mistakes, but still at the same time be aggressive and still score points. Second and ten. Mahomes wide open as Kelsey Mann went down and was defending him. And Kelsey's rumbling inside the five. First and goal, Kansas City. Kelsey has set them up. Now can Mahomes have it? Mahomes. Pumps. And it's pushed out hard by Littleton. He wants to throw it there. You know, Patrick will go and look at it. Can he step up? Can he move? Or did it just happen? So, but he was in a position a couple times and cut it loose. Eighth play of this drive. Look who it is. Big Travis Kelsey as he guns it into the crowd here at the Coliseum. Our defense, you know, I know they don't want to give up that many points, but um, in a time that they kind of needed us, and we're like, all right, like time to respond on our side. Second and six. Goff is going to be taken down. I mean, you know, whenever you're playing those guys, you're going to have to score a lot of points, you know, kind of regardless. They've been doing that to teams all year. That's trouble for the quarterback. They're going to run it. I'll make for fourth and five. Very surprising call there by the aggressive Sean McVay. It wasn't always pretty, especially in some instances. You know, we're, we're always trying to stay balanced, but most importantly, move the football and, and score points. Uh, we got to do a great job making sure that, that we respond. We just knew, you know, it was going to be that type of game, and, and towards the end of the game, we never really took the foot off the pedal and, and just tried to keep it on. You know, sports players are like politicians, the way they answer questions. They use way too many words, and sometimes they don't get directly to the point. Um, but I find it funny that they try to just like wiggle their way in and be like, oh, like, and they always compliment the other person or the other team. Great team. Great. Like it could have literally been the team could have been zero and 16. Great team. Uh, unbelievable talent on the other side. Great team. <laughs> I just love how people answer questions, especially sports. Rare company. And he is an MVP candidate. touchdown against Patrick Mahomes and now Ebucam has two. Again, our defense stepped up, it was big. The guy was open and I, I feel like I was a little early so I kind of babied it instead of just ripping the ball. I got to do it the whole game and and it got deflected and he made a great play on it and scored a touchdown. The thing about Patrick is he'll check every play out and evaluate it and study it and, and get himself better. You know, if you're the Chiefs, you were down 13 nothing. now you're down 10. Continue to run your offense and get back in the game. Oh, Holmes. Winds oh, it up, wide oh. open as hell. He's wide open. Quick, what's that? Where's the defense, homie? Bro, he is. He is. He got deflected open. and he made a great play on it. I mean, look at this. I mean, he throws a fucking. Oh. Lines it up wide open as hell. That's like a 60 yard throw. That? 73 yards. 74. Wow. But Sam shields the corner. He falls down right. And when he does, Patrick Mahomes sees it, and his man, Travis Kelsey, on a big block. We're all looking at it that way. Every guy on this team will do that. That's the way these guys are wired, and, and that's what's going to make us a great that's football crazy. team down the stretch. Hell of a play. Hell of a play. Look what we got more to do. Here go. Hey, I don't know what they did, why they called it. Don't give it. We're going to go and do this shit again. You got me? We're down at 11. Another <laughs> big <got> opportunity <laughs> down for the Kansas City defense. Coordinator Bob Sutton. And now here's the other young superstar. As Goff. Goff! Ball is out! Ball is out! And Alan Bailey scores! Wow! The Chiefs take the lead! Can you believe oh this? Justin Houston 
The point against the veteran Andrew Woodward. He goes full to speed. He gets the arm outside. Do you remember just a few minutes ago when we were talking about KC needing to dig out of a hole? And all of a sudden, the Chiefs are up by four. Yeah, you know, like I said, we thought we were, you know, one drive away from kind of putting it away and, and getting, getting enough of a lead, and and then they would make plays and get back in it, and then, you know, they were in the lead in the fourth quarter. And, and, and you see why uh, they're a 9-1 and one team coming into this game. I think it just goes back to the clear, open, and honest communication and make sure that it's ongoing, Sal. But really, it's about our players, um, their ability to be able to just handle everything seamlessly. It trickles down, and it kind of just becomes part of the norm in terms of how we operate. Here's golf on play action. Wide open is Reynolds. Alignment allows him two-way goes. Play action again with tempo to get up to the line. Cranking it up downfield. He wants Woods. Who has to come back and die for it. Absolutely. He he did not his catch that. And it's going to be first and goal Rams. This is like golden era. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Standing in the center of the ring. Hammering each other with haymaker after haymaker. Here comes Ford to the end zone. And it is caught. That's crazy. That was a crazy. Both of those were crazy catches. Second straight game now. He's had a red zone touchdown catch and it couldn't come at a bigger time. You want championship mindset? Respond and go down on a drive. It's two man. He, tight end Everett gets inside leverage on Sorensen. Keeps him on his outside. And Jared Goff sees it. Uh, I, I believe our offense is can be the best in, in the league, uh, and, and I feel like we've kind of proved that for a while. I always will take my team uh, over everybody just because I know what we're, we're capable of. Mahomes anticipating the stack, curling up, and then going down. It's trailing by three. Third and nine. Mahomes going to run. Johnson came up to play it. So now it's fourth down, and he says, keep me on the field, coach. I think they're going for it. Andy Reid's looking at his play sheet. He's not looking at punt safe. Fourth and two. He's going to motion Hill this time. And loops him back to the near side. Mahomes, they get it. Kelsey breaking free, and it will be a first down for the Chiefs. 18 yards on fourth and two. Like the pressure that you must feel, like I feel like it's probably easier to come back, um, like being down and taking winning the game than it is to be up and lose the game. I feel like the momentum can swing pretty quickly. Uh, so I feel like coming back in a game, whether you're down three or whether you're down 15, um, in any sporting game, I feel like it's way easier because you can build the momentum, you can feel the electricity. Like, I feel like I would rather come back from a deficit. Then have a law. Then have all the pressure of winning, of having this this lead. Excuse me, and winning. I don't know. Random f sport thought. They can allow you to go past them because they can come underneath. Second and eight. Wide open is Robinson as he glides his way down the near sideline. It's now all of a sudden first and goal, Kansas City. Crossing route. That is our fifth lead change, our third lead change in this fourth quarter alone. Bro, this is like an insane game. I don't think I've ever seen a game like this before. It again. And then it's my turn. We feel like, you know, we can put the game in Jared's hands and he can certainly handle things seamlessly and, and know what we need to do to get ready, but also kind of prioritize, especially when, when some of the other things that are a lot bigger than football have gone on. Like I talked about, it was it was good to get in front of our fans for sure in a time like this where, you know, every, a lot of stuff has been going on in the last couple of weeks and, you know, hopefully we could provide some joy, some, some normalcy in, in the last few hours. You know, this is it for them. Zero timeouts. This is the last possession you're going to get. And nine, we close in on that two-minute warning. Intercepted oh. by Skandrick. Instead, it's up. incomplete, and it'll leave a third and nine. That's a whole different game if that happens. Nine. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I'm assuming, I'm third assuming nine. the Rams come back to this. Complete for the first down and breaking free. That's it's Cookson and smartly stepping out of bounds, leading 207. Another out, and this time the tight end. 
Higby. Golf on first down. Exactly what he needed to do in that moment. Listen, we said it right from the start. There was something about the energy in this place tonight wow. that set it up to feel nothing like what you know to be a normal regular season. But wait, <laughs> there's a bad man on the other side. NFL game. This now you can forget the conversation of highest scoring Monday night football game of all time. We are in the conversation now of one of the highest scoring NFL games of all time as we have gotten up to 105 points but number City's three got... in the history of the league yeah in kansas city now they got three timeouts Jeez. minute 44 look 20. at that stat line 30 of 38 what is that Seventy-eight percent. Seventy-eight percent. Four hundred and thirty-eight yards, six TDs, and one interception. You know how I, I've seen that stat line before on a video game. Plenty of time. <laughs> See Andy as they trail by three. Plus this guy at quarterback. He throws it low for Kareem Hunt. Second attempt. Mahomes drives it downfield. And incomplete, no flags that time as John Johnson had coverage. Third and ten. Mahomes. Got it! Tyreek Hill! What a wow. catch. What a throw. Oh, 26 my. yards. But oh, he... watch the finish by Hill. But putting it inside now at the number two spot. It's the old high low. Yeah, pass midfield. Play action. He's going to wind it up. Downfield, a wobbler is intercepted. It is picked off. Marcus Peters, the former team. We saw this play work earlier, but then of all the players to come up with what could be the game sealer, Marcus Peters, who was traded away from the Chiefs, comes to L.A., Three timeouts for the Chiefs. This game is not over. No, it isn't. Especially now backed up to a first and 15 after the penalty. They're going to pass on first and 15. And they do so with Woods. I know Sean wants to be aggressive. I just hand this one off. He doesn't. He throws back it down in the face that time by Ron Parker. You're the number two running football team in the league. Gurley may pop one, but what it does, it forces the Chiefs to use a There's timeout, no and it takes time this. off the clock if they don't. And it saves a timeout for the Chiefs when they get it back. And now the receiver screen with Cooks goes nowhere. So they use the timeout. 104 remains, and Kansas City will still have a timeout getting the ball back. You know, we were, we were in... A spot to finish the game there at the end and we, after marcus hit the interception and um unfortunately didn't get the first down and didn't, didn't keep the Bro, clock moving and no we were sick about way. that we were like man we just gave him the ball back with there a minute to go and timeout no like way. what are we doing hold on and i thought our defense stepped up well at a lot of points in the game and we're getting turnovers and getting us right back in the game Two. turns one over and drives a deep punt from the end zone comes hill That the stage will be set. Trailing by three. 50 seconds. And the MVP candidate, Mahomes, at quarterback. Let's write this final chapter. Complete. Oh, he dropped it. Kelsey dropped it. And you can see it in his face. This time, Kelsey secures it at about the 20. You've got to clock it if it doesn't get out of bounds. Mahomes, he escapes that, then launches it downfield, and it's intercepted by Joyner, and smartly fallen to the ground. How much did this game mean? One of the most anticipated showdown games in recent NFL history.
it completely over delivers and this is how it'll put an end to it yeah i mean i mean it sucks right now i mean this plain and simple i gave them 21 points pretty much uh through turnovers that was pretty much the changing point of the game one of the most you know competitive games i've been a part of since i've been coaching in this league you know do you talk about back and forth a lot of high caliber football in all three phases I, i'm sure there's some numbers that are historic and, and all that but just just happy to get away with a win hey everybody i mean this is a team type game ball all right but when you guys know how much this meant the two guys that ended up yeah. coming from Kansas City yeah, couldn't be oh, happier to have these yeah. guys here with us, man. Yeah. Get up for Rameek Wilson and Marcus yeah. Peters. Yeah. Hey, also, I'll say this. Happy Thanksgiving. See you guys next Monday. Right, so just to give you a little bit more of a backstory, what, what, what ended up happening, they are both 9-1. and one. Uh, Hold on. They both were 9-1. and one. The Chiefs ended 12-4. and four. And then the Rams end, uh, ended 13-3. and three. Neither one of them won the, M, uh, the NBA championship. The Super Bowl that year, the Eagles actually did. They beat the Patriots. Um, what an unbelievable game. I literally, literally, I don't think I've played video games that, was, that were that exciting or that close or that just nail-biting all the way through. I didn't even know this was an actual game. I, I just saw it on my YouTube feed, and I was just like, oh, okay. Like, didn't know this ever took place, so this is awesome. Love some football. Who doesn't love football? But, in, you know, let me know if you want me to react more to more sports. I think it's unbelievable, the athleticism um, portrayed. I mean, Tyree Kill running 20 miles an hour, then being able to just throw the ball 60-plus yards. It's just freaking believable. Uh, anyway. Y'all know what to do. This is another Lifting Love Reacts video. Make sure you go subscribe, like, comment, follow us. We're, we're doing a bunch of stuff. We're going to be doing a bunch of crazy stuff here in the next couple months. And honestly, until we can't do it no more. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe. Follow us on our journey to 1 million views. But until next time, there's one thing I really need you to do. And that's lift love. Crush it. Just like that. We out.